African swine fever, or ASF, was first found in East Africa about a century ago and has spread around the globe. Although ASF does not pose a threat to human health or food safety, this terrible virus has devastated the swine industry around the world and thus impacts food security. It's true that the United States is not affected by the disease. It never has been affected by the disease. But the best, the best thing that we can do is to try to keep the disease control in the places that are right now, and if it's possible, trying to eradicate the disease from some of the places where the disease is right now. And that probably is going to be the best approach in order to avoid to have the disease come into our country. To uh, put in perspective, when the disease hit China, it wiped out about half of China's pig population. And China's a, a major source of swine, so it wiped out about a quarter of the world's pig population. And the effects were seen even in the U.S., even though the disease is not the U.S., we have seen a very large increase in price of pork. Having a tool uh, like a vaccine will probably change drastically the rules of whole. In 2010, Dr. Manuel Borca and Dr. Douglas Gladue began to work to solve this global problem. As of early 2022, ARS patented five experimental vaccines and granted 14 licenses to pharmaceutical companies interested in commercially developing them for ASF. One candidate, ASF Delta I-177L, has shown so much promise that ARS partnered with the Vietnamese company Navetco to implement a full vaccine development plan. This vaccine has offered 100% uh, protection for domestic swine. Places like China that have been suffering outbreaks since 2018 or in Vietnam as well, uh, they haven't been able to control the disease using the current uh, tools that they have. So a vaccine could be used as part of a control program to get the outbreaks under control in these endemic areas. If successful, this will provide for the first time a key tool for controlling the disease in countries affected by ASF, which is the most efficient way of preventing this disease from reaching the United States. We do a lot of research, and in the case of the ASF vaccine, it's been a pretty exciting road to see our discovery have so much interest in private commercial partners, and to see that uh, vaccine being commercialized right now is getting pretty close, or is at least uh, reachable. For decades, ASF and other important disease research has been conducted at the Plum Island Animal Disease Center in New York. That will soon change as a new state-of-the-art facility is currently being constructed in Manhattan, Kansas. Once operational, MBATH will advance the rapid development of vaccines and other medical countermeasures to combat dangerous pathogens like ASF. NBAF will have capacities that Plum Island just doesn't have to take the research that's being done and translate it into uh, applied products and applied countermeasures against these diseases. And we'll do that by scaling them up to a larger uh, scale than can currently happen in Plum Island laboratories. And by making sure that the research that we do can be translated to uh, an external partner for large scale production, this work is very important economically, agriculturally to the United States, and the, the best way to prevent these diseases from coming to our shores is to fight them where they're already occurring. 